Hi guys and welcome to a brand new series and if you follow me on Twitter you will have an idea of what the series is going to be about. Uh, the club that we are are Alessandria who are an Italian outfit and the reason that I decided to be them is because they actually have carried out a couple of giant killings in the Coppa Italia this season. They beat Palermo 3-2 and then they just a couple of days ago beat Genoa 2-1 after extra time and then they're through to the quarterfinals of the Coppa Italia. So I thought this would be an interesting save. I haven't managed in Italy before, let alone the lower divisions in Italy. So obviously, as you can see, Alessandria are a team based in the Serie, Serie C and they, do, they, they have a bit of a, a storied history. I have had a, a bit of a look on Wikipedia to see all about them. Obviously, they were formed in 1912. The, the date is in their name, their full name. Uh, I'm not going to call them their full name all the time. Obviously, I'm just going to call them Alessandria. And I'll just show you... So they have been in Serie A before. Um, I'll just give you a, a brief history. So they did start their life this is, I think this is the year that the Serie, a, Serie A was formed so they started in Serie A relegated to Serie B eventually down to Serie C but then they managed to get back up to Serie, Serie A but they haven't been in Serie A since 1960 um, in the late 70s I think the chairman sold sold the club he got sacked or something like that and then they, they just went on a on a run of 30 years in the, the lowest, well, not lowest, but in Serie C. They spent 30 years in Serie C until they eventually went bankrupt in the early 2000s and were reformed in 2003. And as you can see, they went straight into the Serie D, which I can't even play on this game. And they eventually got promoted from your Serie D in 2008, finishing top. And they've been in Serie C since then. And the aim of this is to basically get them back up to Serie A. Their nickname is, I think it's just the Greys. It's it's an Italian word, Grigi or Grigi. And, and I Googled, searched it, and it turns out that it means the Greys. So it's not a very entertaining nickname. If they do have another nickname, if anyone knows of another nickname that they do have, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. As I, I like to learn. You can see the, that they are predicted, we are even they, no, it's us. We are predicted to finish second in Serie C this season. It's a bit of pressure on us. Um, I have done our board expectation, our season expectations with the board, and I've told them that the minimum, well, the minimum that they'd let me say that we do would be a playoff position, so I've gone for that just to cover all bases. Uh, I do want to make this a long-term save, but as you, you guys know with my Vikingo Reykjavik save, that was meant to be a long-term save. So we'll just see how it goes. But if if the worst does come to the worst and I do get sacked, I won't be continuing on as a journeyman because I don't want too many journeymans, journeymen challenges, journeyman challenges on, on the channel. Hopefully we can manage to to do something with Alessandria, get them promoted, get them eventually up to Serie A and challenging the big boys of Italian football like they did when they first joined the league in the 1940s. So you can see rivals, we've got Casal, are probably our biggest rivals, Spezia, who in real life, Alessandria are actually going to be playing in the quarterfinal of the Coppa Italia, interestingly enough. And a Dothona, I don't really know any of those teams. Obviously, I'm not not big in my knowledge of, of Italian football. Other rivals, Varese, Navarra, Savona, Mantova, Pro Vaselli. I've heard of them, interestingly enough. I think they're Serie B side. Prato and Pavia. But as with any f foreign save for me, obviously I'm based in England, um, it's it's always interesting to find out stuff about the teams, about the league, the way the, the league shaped and everything like that. So we will just look at the, the facilities that we have. This is obviously just an introduction episode. There won't be any live commentaries in this episode. I'm still not sure what I'm going to call a series, in fact. But we just, we'll just be going through 
the facilities, the squad, everything like that, really. So you can see we actually rent our stadium. It's a four five thousand four thousand. Where did I get four thousand from? It's a five thousand eight hundred twenty-seven all-seater stadium, which was built in nineteen twenty-nine, almost as old as the club itself. And our facilities, what are they like? Adequate training, adequate youth, basic junior coaching, and fairly basic youth recruitment. Okay, have we got any affiliated clubs? No, we don't. That could have been nice. Um, we just look. I didn't want to look at that. I wanted to look at our honours. So we were we've been runners up in the Italian Cup, the Coppa Italia, once in 1936. And then the the next highest thing we've done is runners up in Serie B, 1957. So the the best thing we've won is probably the Serie Serie C A, which is the the division that we're in at the moment. So we can hopefully recreate that and get get another win and win medal win trophy for the team and that and let's have a look at the squad i haven't actually had a look at the squad so this is the first time of seeing the squad for me and you so you've got them arranged by ability so we've got he looks like a a nifty player for us jean luca nico 26 year old centre midfielder who's got a four and a four and a half star rating and has he has he played for anyone interesting let's just have a look at it first he started his career actually at Juve and was obviously not good enough for their team and joined a Serie C2 side Ivrea and he's not not really been anywhere particular since then he's been in Serie B with Perugia and now we've got him uh, pretty good start actually I'm happy with that it's good good dribbling finishing first touch his passing is good as well he's a very fit player natural fitness that's a, that's a good start yeah, we've got quite quite a few players that are actually above three star rating which is good hopefully we've got got them in in the right positions as well uh, christian sosa right back tackling marking and the, all these players these two players that i've looked at already are, are better than any of the players that i've had in or better than yeah probably better than any of the players that i've had in my my other save with reykjavik so it's it's looking like it's going to be a it should be a successful save touch wood um i'm not looking at any more of the players if there is any players that you want me to look into further please just let me know in the comments and i will will endeavor to do so in a in a future episode uh, so this is our expectations for the season obviously we're in the italian Serie C A, and expectation is to reach the playoff table so i assume the league does a bit of a scotland thing and splits into two let's have a look yeah oh so the top team wins promotion automatically to Serie b and then the teams placed between second and fourth qualify for the playoff table what is play out what is the play out oh is that the relegation one guessing so and then Serie, Serie C playoff table so top 8 teams qualify for the playoff yes Comprende oh oh sorry guys I'm just learning as I go so yeah we've got Italian Serie, Serie C A Serie C B Serie C C okay so there's three three like divisions inside of the Italian Serie C didn't get that for a second there so in our group as you might call it the teams placed between second and fourth will qualify for the playoff table and then the playoff table so the top eight teams qualify for the playoff okay so it's all very confusing I'm sure when we get there it'll be a bit more straightforward but um, yeah we're, we're in the Serie, Serie C third tier of Italian football and the board wants us to reach the playoff table any teams that I've heard of that are in Albino Lefe I'm sure they 
Did, were they not in Serie A a while ago? No, it was Serie B. Making things up again. It's just like names that, that stand out that you seem to think you've heard of before. And then the Coppa Italia were expected to reach the second qualifying round. So we're not expected to get very far in that at all. If that was the expectation for Alessandria in real life, they have surpassed that by a mile. Jeez. That is really good. So if we've got any... Let's have a look if we've got any transfers coming in. No, we don't. Have a look at finances. So you can see pretty healthy position financially. £621,078 balance. A transfer budget of 107000 and a wage budget of 37.7, which we're spending 36000 of at the moment. Uh, I always just like to look at the projection. I know that it all it changes constantly, so they expect us to just lose money constantly. But obviously, that won't shouldn't happen if we we win games. If we get a, a bit of a cup run going, that would be nice as well. So we will just have a look at the fixtures that we've got. We've got a few friendlies scheduled in. Our actual season kind of starts on the second of August with the Italian Cup first qualifying round. But the league season doesn't start until the 6th of September. It's a very late start there. Lots of lots of friendlies lined up as well. The assistant manager has obviously been very busy with his, uh, his phone book and just contacting everyone that he knows, asking them if they want a game. Um, oh, that's one thing I want to do. I want to look at the, the youth squad, see if we've got any interesting youth players. So we'll look at the under-20s first. So this guy, 16-year-old, is the best that we've got. And to be honest, according to the star rating, doesn't look that good. As he's a midfielder, centre midfielder. Technique's quite good, first touch is quite good. Passing needs a little bit of an improvement. Of improvement, You could you could turn out to be all right for us. Um, the One of the, the things with our squad is that it's a very determined squad, which which is good. I, I'd quite like to have the... A determined squad and obviously I have got a determined squad sometimes I just say things and then I'm like why did I say that I'm just so confusing but anyway and yeah, we've got quite a determined squad which should help us in like th them just focusing their sights on getting out of Serie C so not much to look at in the under 20 squad what about the under 18s yeah Dav David Sabioni who is on loan from Torino, yeah. Guess he would be. So he's attacking midfielder. He can play right across the board, but mainly his, his best position is attacking midfield right, possibly left as well. Uh, crossing's quite good, finishing's quite good, so he could be a bit of an inside forward, I guess. Yeah, I might... Um, since we've got him on loan, I don't see why he's in the under-18s, to be quite honest. If you're going to bring a player in on loan, you might as well stick him in the senior squad. He's got all the potential to be a, a top quality player, so we might as well give him that chance. He hasn't actually played a... How old is he? 18. Makes sense. He hasn't played any, any games, but um, I think I think I'll probably, I'll probably start him. He might be one of my starters. He's got a loan player. I might as well use him. And I've looked at that. What about staff? Yes, staff. That's what I wanted to look at. So, oh, that's quite good. Best in Serie... In, I'm going to stop saying Serie CA because that's just a mouthful. I'm just say, going to say our, our league. Best in our league in defending training, fitness training, men mental training, technical training, and tactical coaching. We just need a bit of improvement. We're above average, though, on attacking. Below our average in goalkeeping and below average in... I can't remember for the life of me what that category is. Is it man management? Possibly. So maybe we could do with an attacking coach and a goalkeeping coach. Have we got a goalkeeping coach? Because if so, he needs to get gone because he's obviously not good enough. Andrea... Andrea... Sorry, he's not a girl. Andrea Savili. Goalkeeping's 13, so maybe we'll see if we can get a better goalkeeping coach. Uh, we'll just go into this part, because this makes it easier to see if you go into the coaches on the training section. 
still trying to work out what man stood for. Uh, goalkeeping coach, he's two stars. It's not, not that good. And what else are we, we low in shooting? So we probably do with another technical coach. Although I can, I can do that. So yeah, it didn't really help much. Yeah, so I think we'll we'll see if well we'll see now actually see if we can get another coach in. How many coaches were allowed? Three, and we've got three in. Okay, so maybe not. We've not got many scouts. That's a bit concerning. We've got a chief scout, but we we've got room to have three scouts. We've only got one. Alessandro Soldati who is average at best <laughs> so imp improving staff could be well will definitely be something that we're gonna have to push on with uh system manager is pretty poor too so i think there's gonna be lots for me to do players to come in staff to come in all before the first game that i'll bring you in a live commentary which will be the Italian Cup first qualifying round. Hopefully we can manage to get a few good members of staff in, a good a few few more players in. If we need it, I'm gonna have a, a more in-depth look at the squad because we we have got quite a few players that, that look like they could be useful. So it could just be a case of strengthening a few positions just in case we get injuries. Um so that is that. We will be back with the Italian Cup first qualifying round match. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button. Let me know in the comments below if you think this series is going to be successful. I hope you're interested in it. Feel free to leave a comment about anything below. In fact, if you've got any suggestions for any future series you'd like to see, or like I said before, if you want to see a player that we've got more in depth, a more in-depth view of the player, just let me know. And subscribe to my channel to get all my content when it comes out. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.